Hey, thanks. I prefer video to all this texting around about stuff. Floyd Gephardt did meet with me. We met at the Oakland Rotary Club. We talked off camera and then we talked on camera. The link is right here. And he talked to me about his version of Coliseum City. And at the time I said, hey, I expressed support for it. And when I say support, I don't mean for it as it is. It has to have some changes. I have nothing against Floyd personally at all. Later that same day, that was June 18th of the Oakland Rotary Club that lunchtime, I met Fred again, and this is a public meeting, the Montclair, Montclair, excuse me, Greater Oakland Democratic Club meeting, which I, economist Roger Knoll, and Floyd were on the same panel, and Floyd said right out in public that the Raiders called him about my proposal, and he told them that they should use my proposal as a backup and dress it up as their own. He said that publicly. Ken Epstein of the Oakland Post was in the meeting. He was taking notes, but he never, for a very odd reason, wrote an article about it, and I presume it's because I was there. Now, because my if I wasn't there, I believe you would have seen something in the Oakland Post about what Floyd said and about what Roger Knowles said, but my being there seemed to throw him off a lot. In fact, he left early, or tried to, and I said, Ken, wait, come back, because there's something you need to put in your article. And he sat down, which meant he intended to write something. Now, back to Floyd. Floyd has whatever question was po posted to Floyd, I never said I was part of anyone's ENA team. So to pre present that as if I said that at any time is a complete lie. I never said that one thing I did say was that Mark Davis asked me to produce a stadium proposal, which he did do. Because of the fact that I'm a media person, I'm my own business, I do business with the National Football League, and Mark made this request, it makes me a business partner of the Raiders, and that is allowed within the ENA. If Floyd or any of his attorneys claims otherwise, I simply have to show that clause, and I'm happy to show it publicly, and remind them of how it's written. I asked Mark three times to repeat his request so that I made absolutely certain, not only of what I was hearing, but the people around me heard it as well. Particularly Mike Silver, my longtime friend, who is now with the NFL Network, and tweeted out, I might add, tweeted out, that he was a witness to Mark Davis asking me to submit a stadium plan, which I have done. Which I have done. I think it's completely intellectually irresponsible for Floyd to try to diminish what I've done in the way that he has and for him to react that way means obviously I have something very good that's going on but he could simply have taken my proposal and roped it within his and said hey you know what hey Zenny can we use some of your financing plans and your contacts in ours and I said yeah not a problem he never did that so I'm trying to get you to see just how parochial some of the behavior is involved in this and why this isn't going the way it should go. There's a whole litany of reasons. This is just the latest example of why there are some really uh, ridiculous reasons why this is not going well. But Floyd did not tell you the truth.